and welcome to this quick Procreate tutorial. So today I want to show you how you can create a scallop pattern brush in Procreate because I just love these scallop patterns so much. They remind me of the ocean and waves and sun and summer in general. Now you can use these scallop patterns in designs of course, but I also use them in children's illustrations just as a very faint background element sometimes. Okay, now let's get into it. I open Procreate and then I will just hit the plus sign here to create a new canvas. And the size doesn't really matter that much here. Um, what's very important is that you create a perfect square. But other than that, I'll just go with inches here and create an eight by eight inch canvas. And then I can already hit create and here I am. Now the first thing I will do is to toggle off that background color because I will create a white circle in a minute and it will help me to see that better. And now I'm just using some kind of, let me see, medium airbrush that looks good. And the way you can create a circle in Procreate is to just draw a circle. Sometimes I draw around twice and then just hold that and this creates an ellipse and then you can tap that and you have a perfect circle. Now I will fill that circle with white and what I have to do now is to move the circle or to enlarge the circle so it touches all the four edges of the canvas. Now I use or I'll go to that arrow symbol and I'll make sure that I have snapping turned on. So now it's not turned on. You really need the snapping tool here. And then I will just first start to move that circle into the corner here. And that moment you see these orange lines appear. That's where you have to let go. And I, ah, as you can see, I just moved my finger a slight bit and then it move to the side. So sometimes that happens. So I just very quickly lift my finger and I feel that it is a bit easier to do this dragging around with your finger instead of the Apple Pencil. So at least I tend to have better results with getting it or with um, staying within the orange lines. So I just have to let go. And now I make sure that it actually touches the edges. Yes, it does. Okay, now next step, create a new layer, go to the layers panel, hit the plus sign and hit the layer and then make that a clipping mask. And now I will select a pure black. I'll just double tap that here on the black. And then I will, yes, that's the question now. You can use all different kinds of brushes and I would encourage you to really try that out because it gives your pattern a different vibe every time you use another uh, brush. But I will just show you by using the, yes, let us use the old beach. It's in the artistic section. And oh, I just realized the opacity is not all the way up. So I will do that now. Now what I will do is I will just create my first scallop and I think that's a bit too small. I make that a bit larger. Yes, that looks better. And then I will just hold my pencil like I did before. So it creates this kind of perfect scallop. And I can see here that it's not actually touching the edge. edge. So you can do several things. You can just move that a bit. I will enable snapping now. Yes, and I think I already like that. Maybe move that. Yes, and I'll leave it at that. Now the second scallop. I will make my brush a bit smaller now for the second one. And the third one. And maybe try to, yes. Okay, so now what you have to do next is just to pinch these two together. Before I'll do that, I'll 
do make another copy of that circle so I can use it later on if I want to create more scallop patterns. I will toggle off the visibility and then I merge these two layers by just pinching them together. And now you have to create four copies of these. So you have five, la five circles all in all. So I will just hit duplicate, one, two, three, four. And the one in the middle just stays where it is, but these other two I have to move now. And again, I will do that with my finger. I will hit the arrow and then make sure that my snapping is on again. And now I will just move this one here to the corner down below. And I see all of these orange lines and I just let go very quickly. The second layer I will just move to that side here. And it is important that the two layers here are in front of the other circle because what you can see now I leave the, the middle layer like it is and I go to this layer here and what you can see now it is behind the middle layer and if I move it to its place orange lines again it looks like this now the last one move it and orange lines and voila now you've got your scallop pattern brush basic um what you have to do now is to copy that go to the wrench and add and copy canvas and now you go to the brush and to create a new brush to have you have to hit the plus sign here and then you go to grain hit grain go to edit import and paste and now before you move on on you have to tap that with two fingers because the white has to turn black and the other way around and then you can hit done and here you can already see that's your pattern brush but if i were to leave it at that what would happen now is that every time i i just have to make the scale a bit smaller here every time i paint on that the pattern overlaps and it just gets this kind of dark here in the middle. So now what I have to hit, this is very important for a pattern brush, is to hit texturized. And now every time I paint on the canvas, Procreate kind of remembers where I've been. I really don't understand how that works um, from a technical point of view, but you can see now I can use this brush and create a wonderful, lovely scallop pattern. Now, um, I will just go to Apple Pencil here. No, that's wrong. Properties. Yes, I will just leave all this all like it is. But about this brush, I will give it a name. Scallop pattern. And last but definitely not least, because it doesn't save anything if you don't hit the done button, you hit done. And here's your scallop pattern brush. Now we will just try that out on a new layer. I will just on a new canvas, sorry. And I will use another color, maybe a vibrant orange. And oh yes, I love that. Now if you um, bump up the size, it doesn't really bump up the size of the scallops. If you want to change the size of the scallops here, what you have to do is to go into the brush by just tapping on the brush and then you go to grain again and here you can adjust the scale. So if I want to have a bigger scallop pattern brush, I bump that up and then you can see I've got that here. Now what you can also do is to play with all these other things that you find here in Procreate. Um, for instance, I just recently discovered the color dynamics and what you can do here, go to stroke color jitter and let me see, change the U a bit. And now what will happen is clear layer. Every time I start painting with that brush, it will have another color. And 
This might be quite interesting for your design. It's a bit too much here, I think, so I'll go back in there again and just go to like 6%. Let me see what happens there. Clear layer. Yes, that's a bit better. So it varies in all these different shapes of yellow and orange. And I think that's actually quite nice. Now we're nearly done. Um, the last thing I want to show you, if you want to find your brush later on and not look for it for ages, like I just did a couple of days ago, what you have to remember is um, the brush section you created it in. So I created the scallop pattern brush in the artistic section because I had used the old beach before. I was already in the artistic section here. And then I hit the plus sign, so the brush was added to this particular section. Now, if I want to leave it there, that's fine, of course, but I can also move it. And I've got a folder here, which is called Julia Alford's Illustration Custom Brushes, and I will just move it over there. So I'm hitting the painting section again, no, artistic. And then I grab that one and I will hover it over the Julia, Julia Alford's illustration, Julia Alford's illustrations section. And then I will just, let me see. I don't really have pattern brushes here. Just, oh, I've already got a scallop brush there. I just put it in here. Now what you can also do is to create a new set and you just have to hit this plus sign here and then you might call this pattern brushes and then you can where is it now it's in the Julia Alford's illustrations you can again grab it drag it over there and then go to pattern brushes and then drop it in here Yes, that's it for now. Uh, make sure to check out my other videos and I hope to see you again. Bye.